Hey everyone, I'm Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name, as I said, my name is Mark Plant. This is MPV Vlogs. Haven't done a lot of videos lately, uh, mainly the fact of graduation season and all of the things that are going on right now. Uh, very busy. Uh, so I haven't been able to produce any vlogs. So we're going to do today just an unboxing or probably more of like a product demonstration. Uh, the issue that I have is I had, or I have, I should say, an HP Photosmot 7510 printer. If you've watched this vlog for any length of time, you know I do not like HP products. I think they are absolute absolute garbage but that being said i i forget why i bought this this printer because i had said i was never going to buy another one but i bought this about five years ago and in my household everything i have is apple uh, my computer's behind this that's an imac behind me my laptop's a macbook we all have iphones so we use that printer exclusively to print pictures, any type of documents. My daughters are in high school, so they printed out a ton of documents on it. Well, what ended up happening was we switched our internet provider. I don't understand how this works, so bear with me. From Verizon to Cox. And when I set the network up on the HP PhotoSmart printer, none of our devices would recognize it. I, I tried for like two weeks straight trying to get this thing to work. Uh, the only way that I could get it to work is to connect directly with a USB cable to the printer. <sighs> Didn't work. That wasn't going to work for where we had the printer in the house and everything. The other issue that I had with this printer is HP ink cartridges are incredibly expensive. Very expensive. Uh, so with the problem with the printer, I, I said, just go out and get a new one. So we ended up buying a Canon printer. Print cartridges for that are about 10 bucks a piece, and they last almost twice as long as the HP products. Uh, I have, I'll put it up in the top here. I had an issue with a HP printer where I got brand new ink cartridge, put it into the computer, I mean, put it into the printer, and the computer was reading it as only half full. So HP... I tried calling customer service and got the runaround, and HP just doesn't care. Years and years ago, I had an expensive printer that I bought from HP uh, for basically prof professional pictures. And Wind at that time, I was using Windows. Windows upgraded, I believe at the time, it was to Windows XP. Canon, and excuse me, not Canon, HP did not update the printer, the, the print um, drivers. So in this instance, I contacted HP to find out what was going on, whether they were upgrading the, the drivers for the printer. They had no plans to upgrade the drivers. And when I said to the woman, I've only, you know, I've had the computer, the printer, it's a very expensive printer. I think I paid like $800 for it. She actually turned around and said to me, well, that printer's kind of old. I think it's time you buy a new one. So, like I said, I don't remember why I bought this HP printer that I have, but anyway, like I said, when we switched from Cox, from Verizon to Cox, I couldn't get, get it to connect through the Wi-Fi. What I've done is I've set up an office in my house. At the time, I didn't have an office, but I'm in the office now. And I brought the printer down because I could connect it directly to the iMac via the USB cable. I figured if I needed to print anything black or what, black and white, I could do it. So I've had it set up for a while, and I haven't used it in a while. So the other day, I needed to print some things. Um, so I, rather than having to run upstairs to the to the Canon printer, run back down here to the computer, run back up and down, I figured I'd try using this. Well, when I plugged it in, turned it on and everything, I was able to print no problem. But I was out of ink. The ink. From it sitting so long, the ink dried up. So I needed new ink cartridges. Also, the other thing that was happening, the printer is now discoverable on my network. 
haven't used it in several years and all of a sudden now it's showing up where before it wasn't. Don't know why. You have no idea why all of a sudden it's working. But anyway, that's the backstory on the printer. But what this video is, like I said, I needed new ink cartridges. Ink cartridges dried up. And I said earlier that HP ink cartridges are incredibly expensive. Uh, it's just ridiculous. And they don't offer much. So what happened was I went on Amazon. I was just going to order a black ink cartridge because that's all I print down here, really. And looking at the prices, it was ridiculous. So while I was searching through, I found a knockoff brand. I don't know whether it's going to work, but the, this knockoff brand here, they, in this package, you get two of all the colors, plus you get a photo black ink cartridge, all for $22. That's about half of what it would cost for just one black ink cartridge. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put these things into the HP PhotoSmart 7510, and let's see if they're worth it. Uh, I don't know. I, that's a real low price for it. I'm worried that putting it in HP software might block them because they're not authentic HP. I don't know. Not sure. But what I got to do is, unfortunately, I have a small office space and my printer is in the corner. So I'm going to try to be able to film where it is without having to pull it out and put it up on the... We'll see. We'll see what we have. But anyway, first thing I'm going to do, let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is from a company called KingJet. Okay, and like I said, I've never heard of them before. It's an OEM product. Let me open this up. Let's see what comes inside. I said there should be multiple cartridges in here. There we go. All the cartridges. This is incredible. This would have cost me a couple of hundred dollars through HP. So, what do you say? We try putting these in and see how they work. All right. So I ended up having to pull the printer out. Uh, the camera couldn't get back there. Uh, so it took me a second to set this up. But anyway. Okay, so this is the HP PhotoSmart 7510 photo printer. Uh, I suppose uh, you can print, uh, fax, do everything on this. Uh, I suppose to have remote access. I haven't used it in years to do that, so I have no reason to print from somewhere else. But this is what we have. So, oops, as I kick the camera here. What we're going to do is let's change out these cartridges. So right in there we have, let me close this down, don't tell me I unplugged it, oh there we go. Alright so I gotta boot it up, just take a second, okay so what it's doing right now is logging into the network, uh, opening up all the software that's on it. Alright so let's change these ink cartridges. Pop that open, and there they are. I actually have to lower this down a little bit so you're gonna be able to see what I can do. Okay, so right there, you can see we got 564, the black cartridge. Actually, they're all 564s, just like here, 564. So Remember correctly, you push in, lift up, and pull out. So this one here is the 564 photo cartridge. I'm going to put that over to the side. And we're going to take this, which is the 564 photo cartridge. Okay. So we got... So we've got the photo cartridge here. It is a little cheaper built. I don't like that. But let's see how it goes into the machine. So pull the cover. 
go like that. Pop it off. And there's the ink is right there. So that goes in the back, goes down at an angle, and then clips in. Okay. Next one we're going to change out is the magenta. Okay, so now we're going to go to the black ink. The black ink is where it's different. The ink cartridge that I have here is a double cartridge. As you can see, if you compare it to the normal cartridges, it's like twice the width. So it's basically two cartridges in one. So they sent me four black cartridges. So probably, no, actually, it's the same width. So I'm only going to have to put one. So they actually sent me, I got four black cartridges. Wow. If this works, this is a deal. I'm going to put that one in. Click it down. Okay, so they are all in place now. I'm going to close the case down. Okay. So HP is saying it's non-HP cartridges. They can't retouch the quality. The, any, they all say that. Canon cameras... Do the same thing as if you use a different battery. So I'm going to say okay. Right. Okay, I'm not sure what it's trying to print right now. I don't think I have paper in it. Yeah, no, I got paper in it. Okay, looks like it's all set now. So what I'm going to do right now is let's test out the black and white. There we go, that's black and white. That printed pretty well, plain paper. Alright, so we're going to go back in here. Again, I'm, I'm on the computer on Photoshop right now, so... Okay, what I'm going to do here is let's see how it prints for photo. So I'm going to use my younger daughter as a guinea pig on this. She's probably not going to be too happy, but won't be the first time. Okay, so we're going to put this on photo paper. All right, so let's check. I figured it out. <laughs> let's go in here, and we are going to see how it prints a photo. Like I said, I'm doing my youngest daughter here, so she may not be happy with me that I'm putting her picture up on this, but she'll survive. Okay, so just make sure on the print settings... Okay, so let's click print on Photoshop and we'll click proceed. And it does take a couple of seconds for it to get over there. And print is kicking on. Okay, you see the photo page being pulled in, the photo tray. Darn it. Right there. Okay, let's try that. Okay, he's pulling it in. That yeah, sounds like it pulled it in there. There we go. Wow. Wow, that's really nice. That print is really nice on it. Wow. 
I just have to reshape the, the picture and everything so that it fits on the paper. So this is just a quick, quick demonstration on how well it prints, but that ink is pretty nice. Okay, this is another one where I adjusted the image. And that's pretty darn good. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. So, all right. So it looks like I made out here. Now, depends on how much ink is in these things and how long it lasts, but we'll see. But, yeah, I'm happy. A lot cheaper. The, the whole set that I showed you was $22. Just the black HP cartridge is $38. So you imagine how much it would cost for all of this. So, very happy. Well, all I can say is, King Jet, you've got a pretty good product here. For the price that I paid, uh, the only issue I have is, and it's with any time you buy any OEM products, HP is throwing up warnings and all the stuff saying that, you know, it's not an HP official product. And they always warn that you can damage whatever product is. Like I said, I get the same warning with my Canon cameras that... You know, the, the, if I use aftermarket batteries and that it could damage the camera, whatever. But, for the price, one black cartridge from HP costs $38. I have four here. Two, two of each of the colors and two photo blacks for $22. Now I have no idea how many pages it's going to print, whether it'll be like three or four pictures and I'm out of ink. But if it's comparable to the HP print cartridges, because they don't print many pages either, uh, yeah, how, how can I go wrong? So I am probably going to go back on Amazon and order a couple more. You know, I'm, I'm, for the price, I, I, I can't go wrong. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's the the product review. I, I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed that it's that cheap. So check it out. Um, I'll put links down in the bottom to the product uh, if you're interested in purchasing. Uh, click on the link. Uh, it's an affiliate link, so I do get credit for that. And if enough people spend enough money through the affiliate link, I do make money off of that. So just to let you know that ahead of time. So. It's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. I am less than 75 subscribers away from 1,000. So it's a goal that I've been setting to hit reach. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. I do appreciate it. If you hit that bell icon on the bottom next to the subscribe button, you get a notification anytime I put up a new video. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll be back to you guys soon.